So let's have a look at the glitch effects pack from the Affinity Store. I mean, you can see the image there, 56 textures, 54 Affinity brushes and 3 templates. And this is a real, real nice um, pack to use. I guess pack is the only way to call it. So let's have a look at how they're being used. First thing you do is download the pack when you purchase it. Go to the Affinity Store and purchase the pack. And what you'll get is um, a download area where you can normally, you have to log in of course, um, to your Affinity account in your download area. And there the packs will be waiting for you to download them. And they're there when you want them again. You just go back to them and download them to your computer. There's the Retro Grit Glitch Landscape. There's the brushes at the top, I missed that one. Then there's a Landscape, Portrait and Square uh, Templates. Then glitch, glitch Textures, a bit of a tongue twister. Screen Textures and just Ordinary Textures. Now these of course are based on the old analog televisions. And if you've ever seen them, even for the younger people in old movies, um, a lot of these effects will be familiar to you if you're old enough to remember the analog TVs. Now, find a folder location and place the files for easy access. I prefer to place my files in an iCloud location where I can access them from any of the three Affinity apps. Uh, Photo, Designer and, of course, Publisher. And when you unzip all of your downloads, you can place them in a folder like this for easy location and access. Let's look at them from the bottom one upwards. So the first one I'm starting with is the Glitch Effect Brushes. Now I'm going to put them in Affinity Designer to start with. But when you put them in Affinity Designer, remember that you have to switch to Pixel Persona. These are not vector brushes, these are pixel brushes. So it's quite simply, switch to Pixel Persona and then next select the Brushes Studio panel and select Import Brushes. Navigate to where your brushes are and highlight them there, then click on OK and they'll load in and install in your Brushes panel. The, glitches, the glitch brushes are now in place and you can learn to use them. Now the previous image you can see is the girl and the same image as previous only with the rewind glitch applied. So it's a brush and you just click on it. Don't try and resize it for the time being, just click on it. And you can change colours, opacity, size, whatever you like. And you can see there is another brush there where I've got those horizontal bars. They're a secondary glitch that I applied. Pixels and flare, the same image as previous with a pixel flare and screen flare. Now the pixel flare are the square ones. You may or may not have seen those in your lifetime. And the screen flare is probably around the end of her long hair level. And you can see there's quite a flare there. There are many other brushes and experimentation will show their uses. Some of them you'll find quite effective. Um, some will be a bit of a mystery to start with, but the more you play with them, the more familiar you become with them and the more opportunities arise for using them in your designs. Now let's put the same thing into Affinity Photo and it works pretty much the same way. As before, select the hamburger menu item in the brushes panel then select the Brushes Studio and select Import Brushes. Again, go to where you've got them stored, click OK and import the brushes. And they will appear in the panel over on the right hand side. Now if you look over there, you can see that just below where it's got Import, Export, New, Intensity, Round Square, etc. There's the brushes peeking out from under there where I've already imported them. Now the effects in photo, the brushes panel I've got in highlight there and you can see there's a lot of different brushes there. There are, there are way more brushes there than I can display. 
um, on that screen. And that's okay, that's just to show you that they're in there. Glitch effect templates are interesting. They really add zing to your image work. And of course, like all good templates, you can change the image. So using the templates in Affinity Designer or Photo, go to File Open and choose one of the photo files, Portrait, Landscape or Square. If you're in Designer, it doesn't matter, it'll still open it. But you may find you'll need to be in pixel mode for anything to happen. To add your image, select the Move tool and double click the canvas. The Move tool is the arrow, the second one down on the left. Double click on the canvas and this will bring up a new window labelled Embedded. Add your image to this canvas. The Glitch Effect template will automatically update with your new image. Remember if you're working with this, um, always make a copy. Don't work with your originals. The landscape template as supplied looks like that. <coughs> now, double click on it as went through the instructions before uh, and I've replaced the picture of the boy um, with a picture of a woman. And it's got the screen effect on it. The new image is embedded, the size is different, you can see the white banner at the bottom. I wasn't particularly worried about resizing etc. I just wanted to show you the effect. The templates have a lot of options to modify, but that's up to you. There are three different templates for three different shaped effects. The square, portrait and landscape effects. So you can use them on just about anything. And resize as you need to. In addition, there are the three effects and you can load these into assets or leave them on the cloud for easy access and the effects are the glitch, the screen and the textures effects. So let's step through these with the magic of video and the short clip will start in just a moment. It steps through and displays each of the images for the screens and glitches etc. So let's step through and have a look at all of these images and you can see them on the right hand side there and I'll just step down and let each one come up as we get to it. And you can of course see the names of them and this one is Line Breakdown, Magnet Lines, Warped Lines, Pixel Calibration, Screen Flare, Screen Calibration, Alignment Malfunction, Point Magnet Interference, Ray Interference, Horizontal Shift, Rainbow Mix, Pixel Mix, Rainbow Burst, Rainbow Shift, Faulty Circuit, Circuit Board, Channel Mixer, Array Burst, Pixel Shift, Magnet Burst, Screen Stardust, Screen Starburst would you believe, Refraction Malfunction, Shadow Cluster, Light Cluster, White Noise, White Noise Fade and Green Magnet Interference. Now let me scroll that up a little bit so we don't lose our place. Now we'll go on to the screen types. There's Indian Head Test Pattern, fairly familiar. Vertical Light Disturbance, Screen Shrink. All of these effects would look great on different designs and things that you do. These are all self-explanatory. Center Magnet Interference, Channel Interference. If any of you have, are old enough to have seen the old TVs, you're probably familiar with a lot of these. Modern TVs, of course, don't have these sorts of problems. Anything digital doesn't have these. These are the old analog TV problems. various 
various textures scratch screens wow that's a good texture that one you could there's a lot of use for that one light noise burn spots on the screen and dusty tube that's all there is to those so <clears throat> how do we use these effects let's have a quick look at the last couple of um, things that we can need to look at now with glitch effect you can see at the top that's the lower image that you can see there and I've applied a glitch effect from one of the screen packs um, and modified the blend mode the layer blend mode so that it I think it was in the gate that one so it shows quite differently but you can see the effect the one on the right hand side that's the scratch screen effect that I just mentioned previously. Now that's all there is to it really I just wanted to show you what the glitch effect pack looks like and give you some ideas and what you can do with it. It's a quick look they're available from the affinity store not from me and I'm nothing to do with it but having recently acquired them I thought people might be interested so thanks for watching and don't forget to subscribe to my channel.